That's great, Darren. Thank you, Larry. Mm -hmm. Larry, I've got a great idea. Why don't you and Louise and Samantha and I have dinner together tonight? Well, Sam must have told you Louise borrowed Naomi. We're having guests for dinner. Oh, that's a pity. <laughs> I was looking forward to seeing both of you. Why? Just felt like it. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'll go for a drive. <sighs> Darren, I'm kind of busy. Maybe we'll take a drive through your neighborhood and just drop in. What for? A bite to eat? <laughs> Darren, I've already told you we're having dinner guests. Mary, it's just as easy to cook for ten people as it is for eight. <laughs> I don't get it. Why are you hinting around to be invited to dinner? Well, Larry, we're very fond of Louise, and we don't see enough of her. You saw her Friday night. <laughs> yes, and she was so charming, we'd like to see her again. <laughs> Okay. Why don't you come over to dinner a week from Sunday? We're busy. Why don't we come tonight? <laughs> Darren, tonight is business. I'm whining and dining old man Simpson and his son, old man Simpson, Jr. I know. And maybe he'd like to meet some other members of your staff. The only member of my staff he's interested in meeting is the man assigned to his account, Bob Chetley. Why don't Bob and I change accounts? I'll take the Simpson account, and he can take... Ah. I finally understand. You finally understand what? You're jealous of Bob Chetley. No, I'm not. Because I gave the Simpson account to him and not to you. Larry, that's not true. I think it is. Look, may we come to dinner or not? You know, with a little work, Darren, you could overcome this terrible shyness of yours. <laughs> yes or no? No. Don't beat around the bush. Just give me a straight answer. Get out of here, Darren. <laughs> I'll bet you $1,000 this doesn't work. Yeah, and don't be pessimistic. You never know if something doesn't work until you try it. All right. Well, good evening. Welcome to... <laughs> I don't believe it. Good evening, Larry. Here's the book I borrowed last Christmas. Thank you. Do you uh, always get this dressed up to return books? No. Not we... always, just occasionally. As an expectant mother, I felt a sudden craving for a formal dinner party. Samantha, I admire you. You do? I like a wife who's interested in her husband's career. But don't push him too fast. Darren will be made a vice president when the time comes, and not a moment before. Good night. <laughs> well. Come on. Where are we going? Home. If Larry thinks we're bucking for a vice presidency, we're going to stop trying to help him and let him drown in his own fiasco.